Today, we put up artificial trees. Used to be years ago, we would put up the real tree. But we like to put them up so early. Matter of fact, this year, Debbie started putting up trees Halloween night. And we have about five trees we put up. And uh, to, to put them up that long and have them through Christmas, you'd have to have put up two or three <laughs> but when they start getting dry. So we went artificial for that reason. This is going to sound really weird. I can remember for some reason, Danny would always get out the 22 rifle and we would shoot, put up targets and shoot every day, every Thanksgiving day for some reason out, out in the yard. We lived out in the country and we set up targets and we would shoot. That would be look forward to it every Thanksgiving. I don't know why we couldn't do that other days of the week or other days of the year, but it was a Thanksgiving tradition that we did that one. Um, Thanksgiving, of course, I think starts the Christmas holiday for sure. And always whenever the kids would get out of school or the grandkids would get out of school, that was the true feeling. Because I would even feel that freedom of the holiday coming that school kids felt. I feel it as an adult. Uh, but that would, be, yeah, that would be it. But I always like to start it even earlier before Thanksgiving with shopping and that sort of thing. Because I like to get ahead of the curve a little bit. Oh, the white meat, absolutely. But I can remember this at the Thanksgiving table one time when I was a kid, uh, that came up and we were talking about it. And my daddy said, there's no difference. You can't taste the difference. And he gave us all a test. The kids sitting around the table, Faye and Harold and myself, and close your eyes. And then he would feed us, what, was this white or just dark? Mm, let me see, and we would try to guess it. And it turns out he was right. We couldn't tell a difference unless we were looking at it. <laughs> I think turkey, I think cranberry sauce, I think dressing, I think these are just kind of things that pop in your mind. And if it weren't there, if they weren't there, um, that probably really wouldn't matter as long as they have everybody together. If you have your family and your friends who are there that you want, the food is not important as what kind it is. But you know, I'm, I'm kind of traditional. I like the turkey, white meat. I think probably my favorite Thanksgiving dessert would be, it would have to be pumpkin pie, you know, with whipped cream on it and that sort of thing. It's, it's so traditional and I just love tradition. I have spent Thanksgiving away from home one time. Never, thank goodness, spent Christmas away from home. But one time we were filming uh, Dean Martin Christmas special in LA and we were the only ones on the show that weren't living in LA and so they took a break over Thanksgiving we were there filming that week and uh, everybody had some place to go and we didn't and everybody oh come on go to our house no no that's okay we didn't want to do that be a burden there so the four of us went out on Thanksgiving the, the Statlers went out on Thanksgiving and ate in a restaurant. First time I'd ever eaten in a restaurant at Thanksgiving. And it was crowded. We had to find, <laughs> I'd realized then just how many people do eat out at Thanksgiving. We went around forever trying to find a place to eat. Oh, let me see. Um, we, we were pretty much the same. We would get up on Christmas morning and we would have Christmas as, as the usual people do. I can remember one time as a kid, just a little kid, I think some, my dad or my mother had to work on Christmas morning. So we had to have Christmas on Christmas Eve. And that was, that was strange and I didn't quite understand, but they had me write a letter to Santa and tell him, be sure to come early because we're gonna have to go on Christmas Eve this year. And I remember doing that. And that was kind of out of the box as far as our tradition. But it was fun then. And uh, now Christmas Eve is a bigger time in our family than it is on Christmas morning because we all get together on Christmas Eve and have a 
breakfast and an all day thing. Would have to be a bicycle, but then again, I remember getting a little guitar, crank, <laughs> played music. I remember cowboy outfits. I remember all that kind of stuff. And it's probably, I got more cowboy guns than, than, uh, I, than I needed, but I would get some every Christmas. I have got a little button that you push and you put your foot on it. It changes to all of those, whichever you want. <laughs> and sometimes uh, I like the little white lights. And sometimes I'm watching television and something there I like for the colored lights to be on. Or, and, but I don't like them blinking. I got, I got a button you push for that too, but I don't like that. I, but I like colored lights probably over any of them because it's more festive. -like. I do wrap Christmas presents. Um, I have some granddaughters now that do it for me, and I, that is really, really nice. I appreciate that. Uh, Sela and, and Caroline have done that in past years, and I hope they will again this year. But I have always been, wrapped Debbie's presents anyway, and, until the girls came along, and like I say, they do that for me now. But uh, I'm not very good. They're loose. You can feel the box move inside the paper, but uh, at least they're colorful. I don't recall ever sleeping under the Christmas tree. Uh, it's not a bad idea. I would think it'd be very peaceful, as a matter of fact. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to choose from. Um, I'm going, to, I'm going to go real simple here because I like simple melodies, I like simple stories, and I like Away in a Manger. And it has two beautiful melodies that those lyrics can be sung to, and I like both melodies, and I love the story it tells, and I love the chords. I just love, I've always loved that song as a child and now as an adult. A lot of good ones to choose from. There's a lot. Um, I am moved, though, every time I hear, I'll be home for Christmas. And I just love the punch at the end, you know, if only in my dreams. We recorded that, the Stoutlers. We recorded that. You know, it was originally written with presents on the tree, and we changed that to presents under the tree. And though I've never slept under the tree, I think that's where presents go. I can never quite imagine what the writer meant when presents on the tree. So we sang it differently. But other than that, it's a perfect Christmas song. I loved writing Christmas songs. Harold and I wrote uh, a lot together, and I liked writing Christmas themes. I like I'll Never Spend a Christmas That I Don't Think of You. It was on our first album, I think it was called Christmas, uh, I can't remember what it was, Christmas Present was the second one. But anyhow, it was on the first Christmas album. And uh, it, was, uh, it was it was one of my favorites. I loved writing it, I loved singing it. Yes, we have a number of those. My favorite is Christmas Eve morning. We always get together with the kids, with the grandkids, and we have breakfast on Christmas Eve morning. And that kind of starts the day. And then we have Christmas all day long. And then we get up and have Christmas again <laughs> on the Christmas day. But uh, yeah, I love Christmas Eve. And I love those morning, that Christmas morning breakfast. Got a lot of great memories of that. I prefer to shop in the store just because of the nice feeling it gives me. I like being there amongst all of that. I find it so much more convenient now to shop online and I do more of that all the time. Probably 90% of it now, but I miss going to the malls. I miss going to the stores and doing all of that. It's, but uh, it has made it way too convenient for us the other way.
my sister Faye makes some sort of frozen pumpkin kind of thing always on thanks around Thanksgiving. And I love that. She always gives me some of that every time. Uh, I watch. I'm very good at watching and I'm very bad at decorating. Debbie doesn't let me get close to a tree or a crystal breakable ball that might go on it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not good at decorating at all. Oh, I have seen all the Christmas movies out there that many, many times over and over I've seen them. I uh, don't watch a lot anymore because, like I say, I know them all so well. But I suppose it's a wonderful life. Had to be. When I know, when I first discovered it's a wonderful life, just what a feeling I had. I just couldn't get enough of it then. And I, I would watch it constantly and just love it. It was just such a message and such a story. It would have to be that. I love Christmas parades. I've written about Christmas parades, musically and in books. Um, I don't think I've ever been in one. No, never. The Statlers were asked to do that many times, but we always took the month of December off for Christmas. We may work the first two or three days and that would be it. Then we would come home for Christmas. and wanted. So we didn't want to work up into the Christmas holiday season. So that's why we never did it. I think it would have been fun to have done. We love singing the music. We love doing those albums. We've done TV Christmas specials. We did a number of those. and um, But we never did the tours because we wanted to be at home. Most emotional. Um, I don't know. It, it, I find it all touching. I find the true Christmas story from the Bible touching. I find the gathering of the family around the tree at dinner time, at morning, having gifts. I find that touching. I find it all. I just find myself sometimes standing back and looking at it. Um, just as an observer and that touches me and that I love to see the grandkids and knowing that they're having a good time it brings back my childhood to me.